Hey there, Coraline. Mother wanted me to wait here for you. Here's a ticket to Miss Spink and Miss Forcible's performance today. She thinks you'll really like it. She really does know you best. Hey. Your little friend is already there waiting for you. You're already late, so go on. After their Song of the Seas performance, if that is what you could call it, Spink and Forcible appeared high above the stage, each balancing precariously on a seemingly undersized diving board. In a matter of moments, Spink and Forcible transformed their routine into something that was much easier on the eyes. Coraline discovered that she was actually the star of the show. Luckily, there weren't many moves to learn. Coraline soon found herself receiving a round of applause.
It was great fun, Miss Spink, Miss Forcible. That was a splendid debut, Coraline. Imagine the love of the audience washing over you every night. Hard to resist, eh? Dear, would you give us a hand in setting up background props for the next performance? The theater never rests. Use your slingshot to get them down to their right positions on the stage. Sure. I would love to help. I'm off to prepare for our next show now. I hope you will come back and join us for another performance. Bye-bye. The other YB led Coraline to her other parents. They looked dashing in the moonlight. Coraline's other parents rewarded her with a special present. A shiny new pair of black button eyes. Coraline couldn't believe it. She hoped that it was just some cruel joke. Unfortunately for Coraline, what came next was even worse. 